start a brand new club and it's been an upward trajectory for this Johannesburg team. Despite the many challenges, the club has remained focused on the sole purpose of providing a platform for female footballers. The journey began in 2012 when Banyana Banyana captain Janine Van Veig realized her dream of setting up a structured program. The team began with just 20 players and a decade later, the club boasts 97 players in different age groups. The idea came from me uh, playing football from a young age and finding it very difficult and challenging playing with boys and after playing in the boys league there were hardly any female football teams that I could join um, and that is when I decided that, that there has to be change. There's so many talented footballers, female footballers that want to participate in the game but there's simply no opportunity for them. And Myself and Lauren just decided that because we are so passionate, we wanted to give back to the game. And by then I was already the captain of the national team um, and I wanted to be the change. I wanted to be the change in South African women's football. While the club has been successful in many ways, including sustaining the project thus far, the biggest achievement was qualifying to play in the country's elite women's league. Last year, the team were debutants in the Hollywood Bet Super League. In their first season, they managed to finish fourth on the log. Star player Mpuminyan Dene was also joined top goal scorer, finding the back of the net on 27 occasions. With the new season set to begin next month, the team has set itself new goals. Amongst them is to qualify for the CAF Champions League. 2022 is going to be a good year. Um, I think 2021 was really a stepping stone for us to, you know, get our gears up and just make sure that we really put our name out there as JVW Football Club. And, um, you know, so now everyone knows that 2022 is going to be a good one because now they know what we've done in 2021. So, yeah, I'm excited for it. The institution has become a home to many great players. Many of them have gone on to represent South Africa in various national teams, while others have gone on to play abroad. For the last number of years, the club has put in a lot of effort into underage teams with a strong emphasis on developing their skills. And already a couple of players already representing the under 17 national team, the under 20, also the senior national team. It's just incredible, incredible to see the growth of the women's game, but also seeing that the work that we are putting in, um, making a change to these young girls and their lives and their football careers and something that they really love. While the team is ambitious to succeed on the field of play, it has also set its sights on finding a permanent home that will include the state-of-the-art facilities. Lebang Tube, SBC News, Johannesburg.